what's going on Epic Tubers? Welcome back to another episode of Epic Tube HD. And we've got for you once again today, another box of Matchless Fighters from Japan. That's right guys, had to order a few more boxes of this as we are still in search of that gold shiny Snorlax or one of the epic alt arts that come in this set. So let's go ahead and get right into it everyone. All right, everyone, as we go ahead and break in to this next box of Matchless Fighters, uh, just want to give a few reminders. If you could help the channel out, it'd be immensely grateful. Um, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and put that little bell and get all your notifications. And one step more than that, if you wouldn't mind um, unclicking your notifications bell and re-clicking it, maybe even unsubscribing and resubscribing. Um, it'll help our channel out as we're going through a minor difficulty or glitch or something that's going on with YouTube. I don't know, but everything I read said that's what you do in order to help fix it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, now, as you guys may have seen in the previous two videos or in someone else's videos, um, you've got this epic box that opens up. The flaps just fly like that. And then we have 30 packs of goodness inside. Hopefully one of these packs will have inside the Galarian Moltres alternate art or that guy right there, but in the gold shiny Snorlax version. That is our ultimate goal. But let's go ahead and start opening with the first pack. Let's see how well these open up. And, okay, because we have to go to the other side. And it's, there we go, it's splitting. I always had difficulties open the Japanese packs up for some reason. It is one card to the front. There you go. Got a rooflet. Crazy Firebird. And we got the epic looking Kakuna. However, no first pack magic on this first one, but that's perfectly fine because we got a lot of packs to get something really good in and hopefully we'll get something huge. There's different alternate arts if you're not aware in this set. I believe there's four. So you have the three birds, the Galarian birds. They have all have an alternate art. There's the badass Heracross coming at you. And we got our first hit, it is a hollow. So there we go. Um, you have the three birds that you can get an alternate art form, which by the way, we did pull the Zapdos. So there you go. We pulled that in our earlier opening. So we do have the alternate art Zapdos from Galarian form, in Galarian form. Of course, you've got the Moltres and then the Articuno. On top of that, there is Slowking and Blaziken alternate art. The Blaziken is really epic as well. Definitely wouldn't mind pulling that one. And our first absolute, well, next, our second actually dud pack there. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting any of those alternate arts. They're all pretty sick in their own right. And the coolest part is all this is coming to Chilling Rain in June. So don't forget, guys, June, I will have the date here on the screen when Chilling Rain drops. Be sure to get in your orders in advance because this set is going to sell out fast. I've already been pre-warned. And another hollow. Here we go. We're on the hollow train again. That's just like the last box I opened that you guys did not see because I had, an, had technical difficulties with the GoPro camera. It's when you don't press the record button and nothing happens. And then when you're done recording, there's a te technical difficulty that ensued and caused your footage to be corrupt. Yeah, something like that. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully um, we will not get an all hollow box like the last one. The last one provided so many hollows. And there's our doggy. Woo! Here we go. Next one. But yeah, I've been warned that Chilling Rain is probably going to be an extremely tough set to get your hands on. It is going to be so sought after by everybody. Here we go. And we got our first one. It is the Galarian Zapdos B. So we, um, we pulled him a couple of times already. It almost feels like every single box has come with the three birds in it. It's like, it's a guarantee 
to pretty much get all three birds. However, I have seen some other people's videos. They did not get all three birds, but I can tell you in my boxes, we got the birds. Every box, pretty crazy, right? But, back to Chilling Rain, which this is a, uh, a look at basically what you're gonna ha we're gonna have in that set. Oh, I see something! Yo, we got the V Max. V Max is that Drake uh, Drake Volt? V Max. Where are my sleeves? I do have sleeves, and I do sleep everything, including the hollow. So, in fact, let's just go ahead and sleeve everything up real quick here. Whoop. Doesn't want to get in there. That's a tight fit on that one. That's strange. That's a Dracovolt VMAX. Um, again, it seems to be very common in this box. I don't know what's going on, but I think in every box so far, we've pulled one of the Dra Dracovolts. Now, if you guys notice, I am not using a playmat today. And because of that, the cards are just slipping and sliding all over the place here. I might have to bring back the playmat. I have been looking at uh, expanding our playmat options. So, unfortunately, getting some of the really cool looking playmats that are on the Pokemon Center, it's almost impossible. It's all sold out. So I've been having to look on other sites and eBay uh, to see if I can find some of the cool playmats. Now, when it doesn't open, I know if you go to the bottom, it tends to not open as well. So. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> what is going on? I can't open the pack of cards. Open. There we go. Had to use some muscle there. You definitely don't want to, you know, bend the cards, especially with what's inside of these suckers. Here we go. Beautiful looking blossom there. Got a rough, rough, rough. And the rock man himself. I just evolved that in Pokemon Go, actually. So at the time of this recording, it is April 13th, I believe, April 13th, and um, we're going to be dropping, I think, a Shining Fates opening here fairly soon. Um, we also have a couple other things that I know we, we want to record, and we're going to be dropping some videos with the, um, the, with the boys and possibly Rainbow Isabella as well. They've been wanting to, uh, to get a, um, a video filmed in. So we'll be um, doing something soon with them. And I have another special project that I'm working on. If you guys didn't catch my XY Evolutions video, please do so. It will be at the end of this video. You can just click on the box and it should take you straight to that video. That was a really epic video to make. It's very eye-opening. And I really hope more people will get to see it and think about um, what we discussed in that video. But again, I'm gonna do a video on classic video games. So, video game and consoles. So it's really a hardware video I'm looking forward to making here. So, lots of stuff to do, a lot of content to make. Pokemon cards have been very difficult to come by. I know if you've been following our channel, you already know that we haven't really opened up any of the new stuff. Very little shiny fates, very little battle styles. And I do apologize for that. I do have some battle styles. It was just confirmed tonight coming. Yo, we got a trainer. That is so sick. Oh, check that out. All the, it's like Furious Fist. That is really nice. I really like that. I know everybody's after those female trainers because they're, they're really cool looking the cosplay type ones, but this one is really cool. I love how the fists are come flying out at you. So we got our first really big hit of the box. I like it, I like it, I like it. And we still got a lot more packs to go as you can see off screen here. But uh, yeah, it was confirmed to me tonight by the Hydro Pump. And if you guys are looking to buy some product, check the link down below in the description. Hydro Pump Shop, Pokey Sh oh, the Hydro Pump Poke shop <laughs> and uh, check and see what they got. They've got a lot of stuff coming in. Um, that's where I believe I will be getting my next battle, well, my first and only battle styles from. So once it gets in, we'll, um, we will be doing some battle size opening. I know we're late. We're gonna be really late behind the curve and I'm probably 
A lot of you are going to be tired of seeing Battle Styles. I, I know it's a rough set. I've watched a lot of my fellow content creators' videos and some um, other people's videos on it. And it is definitely a rough pull, pull ratio set. And there we go. We got our own bird, Moltres. All we need is Articuno. We will have all three. But, um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of people's videos and just, um, I feel so terrible for people. They really made the pull rates terrible for this particular set. So, hopefully my luck will be better. Um, we'll see, though. We will see. But stay tuned, guys. A lot more epic content coming. Now, the trainer. And, you know, this set is not, ex it, it's a big set. It's this matchless fighter set. But it's not... It's not big for when it comes to the commons and uncommons. It's really big on the ultras and the secret rares. There's just so many. Here we go. Do we have something? We have, I was going to say, we haven't pulled a hollow in a while. And then there you go. We pull a duplicate hollow. Which, pulling duplicates from Japanese boxes, it's, it's pretty rare. It doesn't happen frequently. It's not as frequently as you would think it would. Um, they're pretty good on that. But again, these sets are not that big. So you can often complete these sets when it comes to the common and uncommons in almost like one booster box, maybe maybe two booster boxes. And because you gotta remember, they don't have reverse uh, hollows in many of the sets. So there's like there's no reverse hollows in this set. But again, they, they kind of double up on the, the um, ultras and the secrets, so it makes it really tough. We got something, and there's our slow roll V. So we're getting some Vs in this one, a lot more than the hollows, um, which is a really good sign. Like I said, we pulled a lot of hollows in the very the last box I opened. That um, again, where we had the technical difficulties of not pushing down the record button. Gonna have to have a say with GoPro about that. But um, yeah, so here we go. Watch me start pulling hollows now, left and right. <laughs> Jinx! You know what we can do? We can make this an AMSR video. So like, just... <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that one day. I'll make an AMSR video. Uh, ASMR video. Yo! There we go with the Blaze again! Full art VMAX. Nice. Nice, nice. In fact, I'm showing this pretty quickly here. So that is the full art VMAX version there. I really like that card. It's probably the best card in the set for not being like a specialty or you know a secret rare item. That is probably the best artwork. I really like that. In fact, I almost think that is pretty close to even how do I would I don't know how I would even say it see I can't even I'm tongue -twi twisted guys I'm tongue twisted here I would say it might even be better than the alternate art version I don't I don't know I don't know that alter art version is pretty sick but that one is too that is a pretty pretty sick ooh, I almost went backwards there so here we go so far we just had the one big hit can we get something else? We got a double Moltres. Double Moltres. Wow. That is very surprising. We still have some boxes left, including one. Oh, well, how'd that happen? All right. Here we go. Again, please remember to smash that like button, everybody. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Click that notification bell. Here we go to the next pack. Yeah, always looking for something really big and epic in this box. We got, there we go, we got a hollow. The Shaman Boy. Aye. Aye, he's from Ireland. Shaman. He's a good dog, you know. He's a good dog. Good doggy. And he's not a doggy, but I guess he could be a doggy, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Here we go. To the next pack. Again, I hope you guys are having an epic, epic beginning to the spring. And hopefully your summer. Oh, there we go. Urshifu. Rapid Strike. And I hope your uh, your summer is going to be a far better one than 2020. 
So we're gonna need to we need our good luck Japanese cat. We need him on, we need him to do something good here. Let's go ahead and he'll sit on the packs here. And hopefully, have, have you guys seen the artwork? Have has anyone really just sat and said, let's look at this artwork? You got the three birds in the front. You got Slow King, the Blaziken, Urshifu, Single and Rapid. I mean, this is some pretty, pretty sick artwork. I do like it. Love how it's red, the red and the blue for Rapid Strike, Single Strike. All right, guys, we are getting near the end. I think we're down to like four packs, maybe, or something like that. We've only pulled one really big hit so far. Um, typically, you get two big hits, but it's not headed that way right now. The hollows are making a comeback is what's happening here. The hollows are making a comeback. But can we try to stop that trend and get back to some epicness here. Here we go. Love that card, that card is so cute. Sitting on a donut. And that one too, it's like, it's. it all reminds me of cotton candy. All these cards remind me of cotton candy. So in Matchless Fighters, for those of you that are watching or have seen these sets already, what is your favorite card? Um, Comment below and tell me what your favorite card is so far from Matchless Fighters. And while you're doing that, what's the card that you're looking forward to the most in Chilling Rain? Even though we don't know the full card list yet, okay? There's usually a surprise or two that they get into these sets, so. But anyways, here we go with our next hit. And there's our Articuno to officially have the trio of birds. Because bird seems to be the word, everybody. Here we go. We have two packs remaining. Two packs. Two packs to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get ourselves something really epic here. I think we got a hollow, though. That's one of my favorite cards in the set, to be honest. I love the Deli Bird. And there's our Intellion. I'm out of sleeves for now. All right, kitty cat. All right, are you are you giving us something big here? Hopefully so. So again, no technical difficulties this time around. I do see that the cameras are all running, so we're looking good. One last time, everybody, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Join the Epic Tube HD family for some epic content. Here we go. We got Trainer, and if anybody doesn't know, that is a heat. That is a heat. Okay. Don't let that long locks of blonde hair fool you. Here we go. Last one. And bum, bum, bum. nothing. But we did have a really, really epic video overall. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our pulls. Here we go. So again, we got the Intellion Rapid Strike. We got the um, Derbeetle, not Derbeetle. <laughs> oh, the Hornet. Flying Hornet, Urshifu. We got the Irish Dold there. We got the Rock, another Urshifu. Here's one birdie. We'll put him in the back. There's two birdies. There's our very, very epic looking Blaziken VMAX. There's Mr. Slow King. Here's our duplicate. Here was the big hit of the box, though. It was the trainer card. Very nice. There is the trifecta bird, Zapdos. And there was our other VMAX. So basically, this is our fourth box we've opened. And this is pretty much what you can expect on an average. Two VMAXs and one secret rare type card. And then a bunch of Vs and hollows. So that's going to do it um, for this video today. Again, everybody, please check out our videos right here and right here. That XY video is pretty epic, guys. Check it out. And have more epic adventures with M2HD, everyone. For the next one, peace out. See ya.